this closet lies treasures untold. Or maybe just a bunch of crap I haven't went through in a while. So let's check it out together. Pyaw! Okay, so I know I have some collectible stuff in here. I just don't remember what is all in here because it is a mess. It is just what sort of is a catch-all for all of my crap that I don't uh, use or display. I mean, we've got decor in here. We've got shirts in here, hats in here, bass guitar. There's another guitar right there, old luggage, comic books. So we're just gonna go through and see what we have and then come up with a better storage um, system than this, because this is just garbage. This looks terrible. Okay, let's look and see what's in this first cart. And I haven't looked in this yet, but let's look what's in it. I think I know what this is, but I can't remember. Ah, okay, so several years back, I got into collecting these Elvis figures. Um, I really like Elvis. I don't know what else to say. Um, but that's a little bit of what this is. Now you can tell that the cases are not in, you know, that great a shape. They've been uh, rookie mistakes here. Not rookie mistakes. I should have done better. I mean, the figures are still in great shape, but, you know, the case is part of the value. great comeback special as well so just some uh, good old Elvis figures and then what is this ah look at this really cool okay n now we're gonna go in for this next blue case I'm not sure exactly comic book stuff but I'm not sure exactly what's in this so I'll move it, transition it back over to the bed and then we'll go through it together. Okay, so let's see what's in this. Ooh. Okay. This is just some filler stuff. This is like a, something from like the, the 80s, I think. And it was uh, my dad or my mom's bandana and uh, we, I remember using it like on skiing trips and stuff like that. Okay. So, this is a ton of G.I. Joe stuff. So, that was a special bonus pack that come with an extra figure. I believe that's Duke. So you have General Tomahawk and Headman here. Oh, you can see I bought this at Kmart. That's how long it's been. Hadn't had a Kmart in this area in years. Uh, let's see what the date is on these. 2002 for these. So these are 18 years old. Oh, uh, some loose figures. Now this white figure in the white suit, that's a generic figure. But I believe he's one of these newer uh, G.I. Joes. I know out in my shop I've got some old, old G.I. Joe stuff, but I don't think any of that stuff's in here. But we've got Cobra Commander, and then Duke, and then I'm not sure who that is. Is that like a... I know he's with Cobra, and Viper maybe? I can't remember what his name is. I don't remember if he's Cobra Moray. I don't know. I don't remember what his name is. Oh, so here's a bulk pack. This is pretty cool. So here's Cobra Moray, Wetsuit, Snake Eyes. Sorry about the glare. So we got Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, Wetsuit, and Cobra Moray. And this was a value uh, two pack. I'm not sure where this come from. It would have had to have been like Walmart or something else like that. Oh, okay, now this is pretty cool. I know at one time this had a little bit of value to it. I'm not sure if it still does or not. But this is like a retro throwback. It, uh, it was a Toy Fair, like a Wizard exclusive type deal. 20th anniversary, Snake Eyes and Agent Scarlet. 
So I need to come up, like I said, with a better way to store some of this stuff because the, oh, look at this. Oh, it's my original G.I. Joe like tapes. <laughs> this makes me happy. I like this stuff, man. All right, so we have, this is from, no, this is not my original, excuse me, excuse me. Let's see. This come out like in 99 and 2000. So I don't know how I got these. I don't know if these would have come with something, but it is of the original cartoon, I believe. Yeah, because that's the original cartoon that I'd have watched as a kid. So it's just, I guess, maybe they come out in the late 90s, early 2000s with, um, like, uh, they reintroduced the old cartoons. So here is uh, Destro's Dominator. Still in the package, hasn't been taken out. Oh, I've just seen some other cool stuff in here. Here is the Cobra Rattler with a Wild Weasel in there. Hadn't been taken out of the package either. I've been collecting crap for a long time. Okay, so these shells right here. These come from, I think, like, oh, golly, Desert Storm. This would have come from Desert Storm. I can't remember what size these are. They're obviously huge. Um, but these were, um, these belonged or were picked up by, um, let me see if I can get that close enough to see. These were picked up by, and you see they've been, they've been fired as well. This was my aunt's boyfriend at the time. He had sent these back whenever he had visited uh, Kuwait or Afghanistan, not Afghanistan, Kuwait or Iraq, or somewhere right over there, but this was from Desert Storm. So cool casings, and so, I'm gonna try to come up with a little bit better way to store all this stuff a little bit safer, but this might not be a bad way to do it. All right, I'm gonna cut the camera off and then put this stuff back in here for now. Okay, let me move, move these out of the way. This is some stuff that I had framed. I'll, I'll, I'll lay these down on the bed and show y'all what I did. We'll do that. Okay, so these are some comic books that I framed up. Uh, several years ago to put in my office. These are actual comics. Um, what I did is I went to Hobby Lobby. These are eight and a half by 11s that are back here. These are Mylar bags. I taped these Mylar bags down to the eight and a half by 11, put the little corner frame like you, uh, oh, like they're for pictures and stuff like that that you can put in scrapbooks or whatever. But I just thought it made it look a lot nicer. Um, and so you can get four in this Length. I can't remember what the length of this frame is. Let me see if it says on the back. It doesn't say on that one. I thought on one of these it did, but it does not. But these are still readily available at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so I'm probably the most excited about what's in this next case. So let me get one of my guitars moved out of there and uh, allow me to better get in there and see what's going on. Hey, look at there, brand new, brand new backpack I bought. Is this my sunglasses? <laughs> I've been looking for those prescription sunglasses. I've never even used this. I think I bought it for $2.50 at Academy, it's on clearance. So I found my prescription sunglasses finally. Right in time for winter. So let me, let me turn off the camera, move my guitars again, and then we'll get in here and see what's going on in that big tote. It's a lot bigger than what you can actually see. There's another guitar back there. <laughs> okay, let's see what's in here. Might not be anything. Hey, a bunch of foam. Okay. I see some more G.I. Joe stuff. Now, this, I believe this was a variant. Because in these you had, and also a comic inside as well, but in these back in 2002, you had different colored snake eyes and then different color, maybe Cobra Commanders as well. But I believe this is a variant and it's in still, it's still in pretty nice shape. I 
don't remember where or why I bought these. And I don't know if there's any value to this, but you've at least got Superman, Power Girl, Lex Luthor, I have her first appearance. Comic book. And this was made in, looking for the date, 2009. So it's 11 years old. I'm sure I found this on clearance somewhere, just running around doing stuff and said, all right, I gotta have that. Some of y'all are already looking in there and seeing some other nostalgic stuff. I say nostalgic, but. So here we have the traditionally colored snake eyes with a CD, DVD, PC game in there. And then we have a uh, wave crusher right here. So let's look at what else we got. <laughs> Kevin Garnett, baby, 1997. Um, I was still in high school at that point and bought this figure. Sweet. And it's always stayed in the package. Now at one time, folks, starting lineup was a big deal and they were very very collectible but uh just over the years they just tanked at some point and never never made a, a bounce back one of the greatest players of all time yes babe ruth it's a special limited edition starting lineup and uh wheaties box deal Oh man, one of the sweetest strokes in all of baseball history. God, he had such a pure swing. This is King Griffey Jr., by the way. Um, man, he had just a beautiful, beautiful swing. If you've never, YouTube King Griffey Jr. and see some of his swings, man, beautiful. Let's see, what else? My mom bought this for me several years back. It's a, uh, um, it come, let's see, 2002. And they're just little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. You know, and they are, they do have some articulation in them by Playmates. It, it coincided with the Fox cartoon. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, what is it? Okay, so here's what was in these. Got a Cobra Commander right here, the 25th anniversary, so that came out in 2007. And then this was the first Snake Eyes I can remember having as a kid, was the, the second edition, I believe. And this mirrors the second edition, I believe. I believe I was born to love you. I was born to love you. And I was born to rub you, but you were born to rub me first. Hey, okay. So, all right, so crazy story on these. Years ago, when I was but a young man, I thought getting married would be the right thing to do. And so I would actually bought these as a gift for the, uh, the ring bearer. And uh, it was one of my friend's kids, and I bought this for him. And luckily for me, they uh, the wedding never happened. And so these come out in 2001, which will give you an idea of when I was going to get married. But but lucky, 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 lucky for me, that never happened. And so I still have these uh, figures that I'll probably just keep as a constant reminder of how lucky I got. <laughs> Sometimes, folks. Things seem like uh, they're not going your way and that the whole world is out to get you and that life is just terrible and it sucks. But you find out later that everything worked out for a reason and that you thank God every day that they played out the way that they did and that 
he or whoever you want to believe in, they were truly looking out for you. Because they were looking, he was looking out for me. 